वेलकम टू ज्ञान ज्योति ऑनलाइन क्लासेस क्लास सेवन इंग्लिश ग्रामर चैप्टर नाइन टॉपिक इज नॉन फाइनाइट नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स जस्ट लाइक इन्फिनेटिव एंड जेरम्स नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स इन्फिनेटिव एंड जेरम्स लेट डिस्कस अबाउट दिस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वर्ब्स यू नो द वर्ब्स इज द मैन वर्ब ऑक्जरी वर्ब बींग वर्ब दर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वर्ब and here three types of verb let discuss it is very important one you have to know first you have to know verb two types one is finite you can see and another is non non finite verbs you have to know what is finite verb and what is non finite verb here a verb that has a subject yes subject just like you can see in this sentence the two sis the two sisters teach here the two sisters subject okay and so is the tense this is very simple tense teach person third person plural two sisters means plural number two two sisters okay person and number yeah you can see that finite verb means it must be must have a subject it shows the tense either present or past or future then it has to show present number either the person means the first person or second person or third person and number means singular or plural yeah how many when it shows that the type of verb is called finite verb just like here teach is finite verb is clear but you can see in the second number sentence a verb that has no subject या यू कैन सी सी लाइक्स टू वॉच देखने के लिए सी लाइक्स टू वॉच फिल्म वो हर फिल्म देखने के लिए पसंद करती है देखने के लिए दैर इज नो सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट ओके डज नॉट इंडिकेट टेंस देखने के लिए इन आई द प्रेजेंट पास्ट और फ्यूचर जस्ट लाइक लाइक्स हियर इज द प्रेजेंट सिंपल बट टू वॉच इट हैज नो टेंस इट्स क्लियर And two was with person and number. Is there any person? Is there any person who is called? Definitely there is no person. Uh, no number also. That type of verb is called non-finite verb. Is clear? Finite verb and non-finite verb. Now whatever I discussed, you would have understood. Let's see. It is three types of non-finite verbs. Let's see. What are the three types of uh, non-finite verbs? Let us discuss here. Here we can see uh, infinitive, then gerunds, then participles. You see once again three types of non-finite verbs are infinitives, gerunds, and participle. One by one, we shall discuss all these points. Let us see about these infinitives. Yeah, about the infinitives, an infinitive is also called a two verb. What is called infinitive verb is two verb. Let's see, because it is commonly found in the form of two plus finite verb. Two plus finite finite verb. Just like you can see in the sentence, uh, I want to buy two plus verb. Verb is बाय टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव या इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस वर्ब इट्स क्लियर एंड इन्फिनेटिव आर यूजफुल वैन वी यूज टू स्टेट एन एम और पर्पज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही लाइक्स टू अपलोजाइज या वी सर स्टेट और वैन वी वीस टू इंडिकेट रीजन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी स्टेट टू हियर द न्यूज हियर टू इंडिकेट रीजन ही स्टेट टू हियर द न्यूज मतलब रुक गया कि वो नंबर खबर जानने के लिए टू प्लस न्यूज इन वेरी वेरियस वे सो नाउ इन दिस ग्रामर द वर बिकम्स एज ए नाउन और एक्सेट्रा लेट्स सी फर्स्ट नंबर पॉइंट द इन्फिनेटिव मे बी यूज इन विच इज पॉइंट आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट नंबर पॉइंट इन्फिनेटिव दैन वी सर डिस्कस जेर एंड थर्ड नॉन इज पार्टिसिपेट So first number point in two plus infinitives. Let 
discuss to qualify an adjective as a noun. Yeah. Let's see. Do you know uh, adjective is uh, parts of speech which qualifies the noun. Yeah. A little girl. Think. Listen. Here little is a uh, adjective. An adjective and girl is noun. Okay. So it is qualifying the noun. That means a girl is small size. Okay. So here to qualify an adjective as a noun. Here limos are sour. Sour is adjective. Yeah. Sour is adjective. कितना निम्बू निम्बू कैसा है खट्टा है टू ईट खाने के लिए यहाँ टू ईट एक्टिंग एज ए नाउन या वी नो ईट इज भर बट हियर नॉन फिनिट और इन्फिनिटिव एक्टिंग एज ए भर या मतलब भर नाउन का लोर रोल ले रहा है भर बिकम्स नाउन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर लिमोस आर सॉल्ट सॉल्ट टू टेल इट नींबू खाने में खट्टा लगता है या दोनों और पॉइंट यू डू अंडरस्टैंड दैट टू क्वालिफाई एन एडजेक्टिव एज इन आउट इट्स ओके एंड अदर एग्जांपल यू कैन से द चिल्ड्रन आर ईगर टू लॉन से मी ईगर ईगर इज एडजेक्टिव क्वालिफाइंग टू लॉन इज व्हाट वन ऑफ द वर्ब बिकम्स नाउ इट्स क्लियर ये स्टूडेंट यू कैन सी The infinitive may be used in its next point to qualify a noun. Yeah, a noun. Let's see. This is a good book to read. Here, book the noun is good. And the qualifying of the noun to the ordinary a b means to read is a verb, but it is infinitive to plus infinity. And that is acting as a noun. Okay, this is a good book. For learning, it 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 is a good book As the subject of her verb, let's see. As the subject of her, do you know that every sentence there must be a subject. You know always that I, uh, we, you, she, she, these are only the subject. But here verb can be subject, and verb two plus infinity becomes verb, becomes noun and becomes a subject. Let's see here subject is two sound. यहाँ पर चिल्लाना हम्म चिल्लाना एक तो सब्जेक्ट है दिस टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी बिकम सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ए सेंटेंस टू साउथ इज रूड चिल्लाना बहुत ही घटिया है रूड मतलब बहुत खराब है लेट्स सी तो हियर दिस टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी बिकम सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ए भर या आई थिंक यू शुड प्रैक्टिस मोर दैट वैन द भर ऑल्सो बिकम सब्जेक्ट टू फॉर गिव इज डिवाइन Ear is human, ear, air is human, but the forgive to forgive is divine. Forgive मतलब माफ करना, God का क्या है quality है, मतलब कुदरती gift है. God मतलब जैसे माफ करते हैं, किसी को हम माफ करते हैं, एक God का दान है. Let's see, to forgive is divine. To forgive here is the subject of a verb. It clear? So it can be taken as subject of a verb. Now next point. As the object of verb, you should know that every sentence has either the subject part or the object part or the predicate part. Sometimes object or sometimes uh, not object. You know, intransitive, transitive or intransitive verb. If you have not studied the verb which carries some object is called transitive verb, and the, the verb sentence which does not carry any verb object that is called intransitive verb. If you have not studied, then you can learn it. Let's see. Here, four more point. Object of the verb. I do not mean to offset. To offset. Here, I do not mean to offset. In this sentence, you can see in the sentence the object part. Object part of the sentence. Just one other example. C 
she likes to paint horses she likes to paint to paint horses here also we have seen it takes the object of the sentence is clear next point i the point as the complement of the verb do you know complement means here takes the like is is the complement verb of to sing here also is verb and also to present the verb complement is the complement of the verb verb sat correct is pura iska sambandh hai let's see her greatest desire is to sing is to sing is am are after the two plus infinitive comes that is the complement of her as the example it is his ambition to be is ambition is to be is ambition to be so is am are after two plus infinitive comes that is the complement of her is clear number 5 six or point let us discuss as an object of the preposition do you know preposition uh, like of in uh <coughs> between then for into etc hmm? these are all of prepositions so here as an object of the preposition just like the talk is about here about is preposition yeah when it uh, becomes the object of the preposition preposition ka ek object ho jata hai just like the talk is about to begin about ke baad jo to plus infinitive hua hai that is object of the preposition preposition ke baad agar kuch to plus infinitive aata hai that is called object of preposition for example we can say the old man was about to fall yeah here also object of a preposition it's clear so students next point is seminal point we want to qualify a sentence a sentence ko qualify karta hai let's see he was soft so to speak so to speak matlab pura sentence ko qualify kar raha hai bolne ke liye pura hi soft ho gaya nahi liya to tell the truth you are running late to tell sachai bolne ke liye hum late mein aaye ya aur isliye hum late mein aa rahe the to tell the truth you want to qualify a sentence total sentence ko qualify kar raha hai सच्चाई बोलने के लिए हाँ मतलब सच्चाई बोलना अगर नहीं होता तो लेट नहीं होते सो वी कैन डिस्कस द टू प्लस next one shall discuss bare infinitives okay so students let discuss about bare infinitive infinitive the word bare is uh, no more to khali isme jaise ki to laga ke bolte the i like to sing but here no more to is used here let's see <coughs> without using to yeah let's see one of the example when we use infinitives with auxiliary verbs like must can could shall should yeah will would may might do there no need of writing to just like i must study i no need to no need to say i must to study the you wrong i must study hmm? i i can study i can to study um uh, one example i should study or i shall study i will study i may study i might study here all this sentence there is no using of to i must no to is used that is bare infinitives that is called bare infinitives one of the point in other sentence after had better had rather would rather yeah uh sooner rather than here also uh there it is you see i better had better to finish i had better finish here also to is omitted no more to is used see had better finish not better to finish it's okay 
as an example given, I would rather spend, yeah, I would rather spend, clear, so many many examples can bring and to clear. Next point, after dare and need, also bad ETP is used, let's see, on a general, do I dare, ask sir that question, in question, uh, informative sentences, do I dare ask, do I dare to ask, do I dare ask, yeah, let's see, you need not ask, you need, need not ask, it's okay, need not to ask is not, need not ask, so here where it is used, next one after verbs like or perceptions like see, hear, feel, watch, let, be and make, let's see in this type of sentence also, very pretty which you just I feel exhausted. I hear you speaking or I I feel boring boring. I feel boring or I feel bored. No, no need of telling that I feel I feel too bored. That is wrong. Okay? We hear the children shouting. Yeah, how do you it's clear? So I make painting. I make painting. I do no need of saying I make to paint. That is wrong. I make painting. So this type of verbs, after verbs of perceptions like see, uh, hear, feel, watch, let, be, and make, we can make many many sentences. It's clear. Next point. How two sentences can be joined by verb to Let's see. The food is very hot, one sentence, I cannot eat, eat it now. So by using two, the food is too hot for me to eat. The food is very much too hot, too hot for me, I wish me, to eat now. I cannot remove it okay. The food is very, not remove, too hot. For me, I can have me hoga to eat now. Yeah, you can make two sentences together by using two percent not of one sentence. I hope that I say this all time. Here conjunction. I hope one sentence. I say this all time one sentence by conjunction there. It is two. What is close and one is the main sentence? How it can be uh, one sentence by using I hope to reach that I said it will remove to reach on time. I hope to reach on time that I said is omitted or we can do this and I hope and in this place will be to to change this sentence. I think in this way infinity join two sentences to make one sentence it's clear next gerund so student let us discuss about gerunds in this sentence you see gerunds is in form of verbs yeah they are, they are called gerunds which function as now you can see in this sentence cycling cycle uh, is verb but by using ing becomes noun. Cycling verb becomes noun. That is called gerund. Okay. Cycling is a good way to exercise. That is subject part. I want to enjoy cycling. Yeah. Object part. I am subject. Uh, this predicate of object part is cycling. But it is gerund in the object part. Okay. I am just cycling. Anis is fond of uh, cycling. It is also gerund. But after the preposition, object of the preposition of the sentence. The fond of the object of, of the preposition okay so what i love the most is cycling what i love most is cycling here yeah, complement of verb complement of verb is so it's also cycling also. so here all these sentences we saw this general is the verb form of noun which is acting as uh, uh, verbal nouns it's clear you can see 
two of the sentences. Abhishek was screaming with fear, okay, when he saw the spider. Was screaming with fear, means here acting as a present participle answering the question what was the Abhishek fearing, what was he doing, means he was screaming. Here it is, participle. It is a <coughs> present participle. Present participle. But I am tired of your screaming. It is Jared answering the question. What are you tired of? Hmm? I am tired of your screaming. Tumara chikna chikna me kya? Here acting as Jared. Yeah, answering. Jared answering the question. I am. What are you doing? What are you tired of? Means I am tired of screaming. Of your screaming. This is Jared. So. Uh, since above gerunds and infinitives act as noun and verbs we discuss so they have the same use now you can see here either gerund or infinitives either gerund or infinitives according to its use let's see he likes driving gerund her plus ing that is gerund but he likes to drive that is infinity to plus drive ok no one likes cycling here side case, sorry, crying, no one likes crying, this is gerund, but no one likes to cry, infinitives. When 2 plus a verb, that is 2 plus infinitive, infinitive verb, non-finitive verb, but where, as in form, that is gerund. So, today we discuss about non-finitive and uh, infinitive and gerund, and next chapter, we shall discuss about participle, so whatever I have discussed today, I hope that you have understood, do it, uh, repeat it and practice it and see you in the next grammar and okay, have a good day and goodbye.